Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a cockerel and I've decided I think I might do him a little bit stylized and I'm not going to stick to the colours that we have on the photograph. So this photograph I found on Pixabay and I will link it down below if you want to have a go at doing that so the link will be there in the description below this video. So the reason I chose this image was because it's really nice and clear, you can see each feather and he's rather grand because he's got such a lovely long tail here. Um, so it's an easy-ish one to draw. So when you come to do your pencil drawing, I've just done a very quick pencil sketch now, just look at the really obvious shapes that you want to get in. So you want to be getting this shape in, it's kind of like a V, um, and then you've got the main body of him here. Look at the angle of this line here and where his feet line up to his shoulder. So if you look on here, I've got his feet lined up to his shoulder here. In fact, that probably wants to be a little bit further forward. So you can correct as you go along. So if we look, it comes off his head to here. Here's his shoulder. You can slightly see that where the feathers are going over there. And then below that comes his leg. So line things up together. Look at where things match up. So we go from the bottom of here. It just sits slightly above here so actually that wants to come a little bit further down so you can correct as you go along so with your pencil spend a little bit of time just doing these measurements look at the difference between the perhaps the width of his, his tail here to the width of his neck pretty similar similar width to the width of his little crown here um, don't worry about every feather being exactly right nobody's going to have this photograph to compare later on look at where the feathers overlap I've got some very different feathers. These are really large ones here compared to these thin long ones here um, and then obviously these tail feathers. So look at the differences in the feathers and look at where they curl around his body. So here we've got them curling around. So to begin with get your photograph. You might not want to print it off. You might have it on your tablet or your phone and zoom into it and just have a look at the directions those feathers are going around his body. Um, this is his wing here, so you'll be able to pick that out. So studying things and thinking actually where are all um, the component parts at. These are just really fluffy bits that are going around his bottom. Um, so that's a lot of this is just fluff. His actual body will be a little bit further up than where you see the feathers. These feathers here are just sort of fluffy covering him up. Um, so yeah, he's got his wing right down, but you can see it's here. And those are different feathers to the ones that are covering his neck there. So we've got these neck feathers here covering him up, which he probably puffs up when he's strutting around. And then his wing tucked underneath there. And then you've got his thighs here, slightly different again. So because he's got white or light coloured feathers down here, it's not just as easy to tell where things go. So spend some time studying it before you do your drawing and keep looking at it whilst you're doing your drawing. Because I want to keep him quite stylized and quite simple, I'm going to use a thicker pen than I might not ordinarily do. So this is a medium, it's a Faber-Castell pit pen. Um, so the main thing about this is it's waterproof and light fast. So I'm going to do all my drawing with this and I'm going to try and simplify it a little bit. That's quite difficult with all these feathers uh, because I want to do some block colours maybe, do some really bright colours. So I will just try and minimalise the amount of lines I use, which will probably be quite difficult for me because I usually end up doing lots of scribbling and shadows and things. So I'll go ahead now and do the ink drawing and then I'm going to come back later on and put some really nice bright colours on him. We're not going to leave him a creamy colour like this. Of course you could do if you wanted to do him more realistically, but I'm just going to make him nice and bright.
You'll see that my drawing isn't perfect, it's not an exact exact replica of what we have on the photograph there. I could, I, I haven't got the distance between the top of his head and the top of his tail right, his tail should have been much further up, I should have made him a bit smaller to go on the page. But it doesn't matter at this stage because at this stage we're going to just put the photograph away and just use our imagination with some nice colours. So you know we're using this as a base and we're making our own artwork we don't need to get hung up too much on it being exactly the same so if i if i did it again i'd leave that space and have his tail because i mean really that's the magnificent thing about him is he's got such a proud you know all these feathers this tail but i think i quite like what i've done i'm quite quite happy with this um the shape of the feathers going around his body and his wing and everything like that i'm quite happy with so i'm just going to block color this now so um i've made it so that we've got lots of enclosed spaces with these lines i put quite a bit of pressure on the pen went over some of those lines so that we've got a nice dark um, image to work with with those lines and that we can keep in between those so really now it's just a colouring in exercise so you don't have to do it in paint if you don't want to you could use crayon you could use anything you wanted to colour him in and what i would advise at this time is that you take a photograph of him you could do that with your phone if you like or something like that um, and then you've got that black and white image that you could use again you could print it off and colour it in in different colours okay so I'm going to go ahead now I'm going to use some nice bright watercolours like I say you use whatever you like um, and I'll come back to you at the end
I do apologise for making quite a few mistakes there. I don't think I've quite woken up yet today. Um, I did smudge it with my hand quite a bit down here. I've tried to correct that a bit, but it's still a little bit smudgy. I perhaps should have had a smaller brush to do some of these around here as well and get it a bit tidier. Um, yeah, so I did... It's not perfect, it's not brilliant, but it's nice and cheerful and colourful. And like I said earlier, take that picture in black and white um, and then you've got that to work from another time. You can trace it even if you wanted to. You can print them off and, you know, have the colour in with crayons, whatever. So, yeah, really nice and cheerful. Keep your colours nice and bright. But like I said earlier, if you really want to, you can do it uh, completely realistic. So let's have a look at him here. Totally different. Um... To what we've got on the page here so we've made a nice little cheerful artwork using a reference photo with those nice clear lines that we can work from to get a drawing down to begin with so it just shows how you can utilize photographs without actually copying them um, you know as they just exactly as they are it's nice to change things and alter things but if you wanted to do him um, in a really realistic way obviously you need all the little lines in the feathers I've just got a block for a feather there just the outline shape um, you'd want to put all these little bits of lines in as well and you would need to take quite a lot of time sorry I'm a bit distracted I've got a cobweb on my finger okay so yeah so if you want to either way um, it's a lovely reference photograph and I've put that down below like I said earlier okay so let me know what you think I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful and I'll be back again with you soon thanks for watching bye bye for now